The MacBook Pro 13 continues to be my recommendation for those of you trying to get into like your first Apple computer. So what are the best budget accessories you can get for that Apple computer? Let's find out. It's in a bag, it's okay to slam it. And while we're finding out, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. So I love building these. Accessory videos are my favorite to make, so let's get to it. Now I like building these out as like kits. So it's not gonna be like 10 separate mice and 10 separate bags. Everything in here was under $30, and this is a kit that you could use if you bought this whole thing um, where you could perfectly travel and get a fully functioning computer experience out of your MacBook Pro 13. You might remember this bag from the budget video we did a couple of weeks ago, and I still really like this. I actually, this is my current travel computer bag. I use this thing every time I have to go into the office now, this is my computer bag. It's not, I mean, it doesn't have a lot of frills. It doesn't have a lot of like fancy things about it, but it's super comfortable. It carries my MacBook or carries my iPad very easily, has lots of pouches. It's built pretty sturdily. I mean, the stitching is the stitching. It's still a budget bag, but I like the subtle color. I like all the pouches. It even has the ability to have a USB plug out. So there's a cable on the inside that we can see once we take everything out um, that will let you plug like a USB battery and you can plug it in out here. You get connectivity in a bag. I love it. I love it. And then on the outside, we just have another thing. Uh, this is not necessarily part of the kit, but I threw this in here because I think I'm going to start recommending this just in all accessory videos. This is the Insignia, like it's a four port USB charger. Yes, they also make it in a USB-C and I'll leave both linked in the description below. But if you're going to be traveling or you're going to work or you're anywhere, you don't want to fight over ports. You don't want to fight over charging capabilities. Do this and then your wife will take up three and leave you one. You'll actually get one on a vacation. Think about that. I hope she's asleep. I hope she didn't hear that. So yeah, let's actually crack open the bag and see the meat of this kit. And there's a few in here that I'm really, really excited about because they were just really darn cool. So first up, we have a pretty standard Bluetooth keyboard. There's not a lot special about these. I have like seven budget Bluetooth keyboards now in the house because I like buying new ones whenever we talk about these kind of budget accessories. It does feel pretty good. This is from Omaton. Um, it actually feels pretty darn good for how much it costs, the typing experience. Can you hear that? The keys are not terrible. It does have all of these standard like Mac stuff. So it's a command instead of control. It doesn't have a Windows button. So this is a fully functioning Mac OS keyboard. The only things, two things that I don't like about this keyboard before you buy one. One, it doesn't have an escape key. This key, I don't know what this key does. It's not escape. And then two, it does take AAA batteries and I'm not a big fan of that but it also doesn't come with AAA batteries. Most of the keyboards that we get in here, the one that we had for the budget iPad accessories came with batteries. This one does not. So you, you have to buy some AAA batteries if you are going to use this keyboard. It pairs perfectly fine with the MacBook Pro. It does have a nice little angle to it. So you're not, ergonomics are huge for me. If you've seen any of my videos talking about typing, ergonomics for me are huge. And this one it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. I would recommend this. The Omaton wireless keyboard. Oh, and another quick note, if you are trying to pair this with your computer and you can't figure it out, something that I realized, another thing that you'll find on a lot of these keyboards is like a Bluetooth button here on the bottom. Obviously, there is not one here. So if you want to do Bluetooth, you have to hit function and then the Bluetooth button. You'll hold that down, then you'll be able to pair it. It's kind of, there's some working, there's some wonkiness workarounds to it, but you do get a full number pad and you do get some pretty good feeling keys. For the price, it's hard to argue. So this next one, we'll get to in a second because we kind of need the MacBook out to do that. So I really like accessory bags. This is one from Upper. And what this does, I used to keep the charger and the cable all together, but I find that I need the charger and the cable more often than I need some of my other accessories. And it's just kind of nice to keep them separate. And this is actually a really nice just little pouch. All it does, the only thing that's gonna fit in here is the MacBook charger and the cable for charging. It, it feels pretty good, it's constructed very well. It's padded to protect both your charger and the cables. The zipper, it's not a YKK zipper, unfortunately, but it does have a good bite. Can you hear that? It doesn't have like the water sealed zipper, but it does have the kind that will be a little bit of water resistance, so it'll give you some protection for your charging, because that's kind of like the most important part, right? If the MacBook can't get power, the MacBook's, I mean, what is it? It's a paperweight. You have a backpack full of paperweight. And in addition to this, it gives you a little sleeve out here. I don't know what you'd put in here, but you can keep snacks. You can keep like a little pouch. If you got a kid, something that I would keep in here for my eight-year-old is like some little, I don't know, fruit snacks, some little fruit snacks. So yes, you definitely need little pouches and little cases 
to keep all your accessories in tow. Speaking of which, here's my absolute favorite one. I don't actually know if this follows this might be outside of the price range, and I might be cheating a little bit, but I like this so much. Like, one of the best things that you can do for, like, budget gear is buy something that's high quality and then only buy it once. So this one is probably outside of our $30 budget. Gary, what is this? Yeah, it's, it's probably out of it. This does have water-resistant zipper. You can see it right here. This has fantastic zippers. Listen, that's a good, that's a good zipper. Um, and then I keep the rest of the accessories in here that we'll talk about in just a second. But this is my favorite accessory bag of all time. It's from Native Union. You buy this on the Apple Store. It has lots of spots for all the things that you would want to bring with you. I used to keep the charger in here, uh, but I decided that other things can go in here. The mouse, the external battery, the dongle. I'd probably keep my AirPods in here. External storage. Since we're not doing like the best accessories, but the best budget, it's kind of slim right now. But this is, I love this bag. If you're... Like, this is a phenomenal accessory bag. I forgot, when I put all the accessories in here, I didn't even think about it, but now that I'm sitting down here, I'm like, wow, that totally violates our budget for this build. So don't buy this one. I'll leave it linked in the description below, because it it is fantastic. The things that we had in there, though, one of these things that we're gonna find, because we do have a mouse, um, however, the mouse is wireless. So we have, this is another revisit. Um, this is the Fall Weddy dongle that we also talked about during the budget iPad accessories. I love this dongle. Like this is that quickly turning in to my favorite dongle also. And I have more expensive ones, but this one has three USB-A's. Yes, it doesn't have any USB-C unfortunately, but the MacBook itself will have a free USB-C if you really need a USB-C plugin. It's got SD, micro SD, and the big one is HDMI. A lot of these budget ones don't have HDMI and SD card. So this is just, look how small this is. It fits perfectly like anywhere. Like this could go in your pocket, but it still gives you all of the full capabilities that you would need if you're trying to set up your MacBook to be more than just a laptop by itself. This is probably my favorite dongle. This is really, really becoming a quick favorite of mine. But we did talk about the mouse and I do like having a keyboard and mouse if I'm gonna be working. Even if I'm traveling, if I think I can get away with the space, I will bring a keyboard and mouse, especially with these other accessories that we're going to talk about here in a second. This is the Logitech M705. This is a wireless, not a Bluetooth mouse. Again, I, I would have preferred a Bluetooth mouse to keep everything neat and organized, but unfortunately this would not have survived our budget. This one actually feels really good. I have the MX Master 3 as like my personal primary mouse, and this feels almost as good in the hand as that does for way less money. You will need to plug the wireless adapter into the dongle, which I mean, you'll already have the dongle. You've got enough customizable buttons to really set this for your own in certain programs that will allow you to do so. Like I said, it's very ergonomically friendly. The scroll wheel is very scrolly. It's not the clicky kind of scroll, it's just the scrolly kind of scroll, but it's very precise, it's comfortable, this is a good mouse. Like, I may start using this mouse in one of my builds because I'm gonna start having more than one computer up and I've already started to really just, I like it, I like it. And this one does come with batteries. This accessory comes with batteries. Amaton keyboard. Speaking of batteries, you always gotta have an external battery, especially if you're gonna set up like a travel system. You may not be able to use any of those. Maybe your wife will take up all four slots, but you still gotta charge your laptop, right? This is a RAV power charger. This might be the third time I've mentioned this one, but this is probably my favorite external battery that I currently own. And as we've been having a lot of power outages lately, as thunderstorms and tropical storms have been coming through, this has been saving my bacon a lot. It can do power delivery from USB-A and USB-C. It charges via USB-C. And the nice thing is it tells you how much power is left. You don't have to guess. You don't have to be like, well, I got three dots left of four dots, or I've got one dot left. Is that 25% or is that I'm just about dead? Those are big, important questions. Now I'm like, oh, I see a number. I have 49% left because I can read numbers. This is a 15,000 milliamp hour battery. It's amazing. And it will, you won't be able to do heavy duty tasks. This outputs 18 watts. So you won't be able to use this and the MacBook at the same time and charge it. The MacBook needs what, 35 watts or something like that. But charging it, you can charge it with this. So let's get to the actual computer itself. Cause it's actually got some things around it now that are really cool. Okay, I think that's everything we can put you away. Now, this is the Amazon Basics 13 inch laptop sleeve. A lot of you, I like the zipper laptop sleeves, but a lot of you said you don't like them because sometimes the zippers can scratch like the edges of your laptop or your tablet. So this time we went with this version. Um, it's a felt sleeve that doesn't, it won't scratch anything because it's Velcro. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to protect your guys' computers too. So Amazon Basics, even though they're 
what, like they're taking over the planet right now. I have a lot of Amazon basic stuff in my house. I have their running shirts. I have this sleeve. I have a couple of their tripods. I really like, I really, really like Amazon basics gear. And this is no different. It's like a nice smooth felt. It's just thick enough to provide some like bump protection for your computer. I mean, I wouldn't go slamming it down anywhere, but it's just enough that if you have some other accessories that are maybe a little more metally or they're a little more scratchy and you don't want to scratch your laptop, this will be a good protection from things like that. And it has a couple of other pouches in here. It's got a pouch in the front where you can probably keep a notebook or your phone or something. It's got a couple in the back where you could keep some more snacks. Look, I love snacks. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. The two coolest things I wanted to talk about are in here right now. So the first one, and you're probably seeing it here right now, and you're also probably wondering, Gary, you're normally a mouse pad guy. You're always trying to tell us about mouse pads because you don't like clicking on stuff on the table. You're right, I don't. And check this out. This is the coolest thing. This was the thing that I was most excited to talk about is this is a 3M mouse pad. It has a light adhesive on the back so you can set it down and you have a mouse pad wherever you go. But Gary, what am I, where am I gonna store it? The adhesive doesn't go away. So you just store it on the back of your laptop. How crazy is that? I mean, we'll have to do some long-term tests to see like how long this lasts because I've only had it in here for a couple of days, but it's still sticky. I haven't lost any of the adhesion so far. I love, like this is so cool. You always will have a mouse pad because it's just stuck on the back of your computer. It's not as big as I would like. I do prefer having the bigger mouse pads, but look, it's just so convenient. I will accept a mouse pad that's not as like robust. It doesn't have the size on it if it's more convenient. We could make a whole video on me just doing this. Check it out, check it out. <laughs> and the other cool thing that we have around the MacBook is not something that I would probably use. But again, to protect your laptop, a lot of you have asked me what kind of cases would you get? This case is awesome. I really like this thing. It was a little finicky to get on, um, but one of the cool things about this, and I'll leave, I don't remember the name. The thing with these budget things, they always have like crazy names that I can never remember. It gives you nice four corner protection across your Mac. It gives you vents here on the bottom, even though there are no vents on the MacBook itself. This should not hinder your thermal performance on the MacBook because the MacBook Pro 13 is a hot running laptop. But the cool thing is it's got little feet. Check out these little feet. So if you do want a little more ergonomic, you can just put these little feet up and there you go. It's really nice, it's really comfortable. It gives you just enough, it's kind of slick here on this slick table. Ergonomics team, I'm telling you, they are very important. And yeah, this will protect your laptop. But the cool thing is, it still fits in that sleeve. I was kind of nervous um, that we'd have to do two separate parts of this video where I'd have to have one with the case on and then one with the case off because I didn't think it would fit in that sleeve, but it fits in the sleeve. Sweet. So we will talk about the last accessory and this one is pretty important. We've said it, well, like three or four times throughout this entire video, how important ergonomics is. And this is a travel laptop stand. So this will let you actually set up your laptop in stand formation, if that's something that you really like. Cause I know a lot of people really like having their laptops set up in like full stand mode. And this gives you a lot of nice options for how you want to do it. You've got all of these different slots here on the back that you can, I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break it trying to do this. Don't do this when your computer's in it. Um, but you got all these little slots that you can set it in to get a nice viewing angle for however you want it. If you want the screen up just a little bit higher, then you can use the keyboard and the mouse and the dongle and the power supply and the mouse pad, hold on, and the mouse pad. Look at this, I told you, it was a full functioning setup. Like you could get some actual actual work done all like this. And it all fits into that little backpack. And every single one of these accessories was under $30, except for this, except for this, but it's worth it. So what are some of your favorite budget accessories? Let me know in the comments below. I love finding, this. Is, these are my favorite. I love hunting and finding all of these cool little gadgets for my iPads, for my MacBooks, for my all sorts of computers. So let me know in the comments below, what are some of your favorite budget accessories? Thanks to today's sponsor, Squarespace, you can create your own very beautiful website. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a professional website, online store, or portfolio. It's easy to claim a domain slash URL, create a custom site that matches your style, and bring your ideas to life. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash everydaydad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks for watching.